Irish comic Rob Loader. Quick question, guys. Anybody else get their penis caught in their shorts when they're eight years old, only to have your mom pull it out in front of your friends at the beach, and now you're 47 and they still call you zipper dick? <laughs> Scary times out there, guys. Trump's trying to start a war. China got the coronavirus. Trudeau's trying to grow a beard. And guys, why didn't anybody tell me koala bears were flammable? I would have never threw that cigarette out the window. Hey, did you see that storm in Newfoundland last month? Holy fuck. 90 centimeters of snow, 170 kilometer hour winds, 10,000 women pregnant one night. It's gonna be a hell of a September at the maternity ward, let me tell you. I'm actually from Newfoundland. Uh, lived a third of my life in BC, a third of my life in Alberta, and the other third actually in Newfoundland. So I have a strange relationship with animals now. I'm not sure if I should protect them, shoot them, or fuck them. <laughs> My uh, mom lives in Newfoundland, wonderful woman, uh, growing up. She was a bingo addict though, loved to play bingo. She could play a whole table of cards at once. She looked like a meth head playing whack-a-mole. Bingo, bingo, bingo. She was so good at bingo, one night somebody slashed all of her tires. I was like, mom, who are you playing against? The fucking Crips? You gotta be careful there, mom. But Newfoundland is ass backwards. I mean, it always has been in a fun way, you know? Out here, you got your HOV lanes, right, for people going to work. Uh, your bike lanes, very nice, right? Newfoundland's the only province got an AA lane right down the highway. You can actually carpool to your meeting. Here in BC, though, you got your parking meters, right? If you don't pay, you get a ticket. You know, step out, you get a ticket, you gotta pay. In Newfoundland, downtown St. John's, the parking meter sign actually says this. Sometimes this meter is checked from time to time. I actually, uh, I got in trouble when I was in Newfoundland when I was younger. I actually went to jail for a night for fighting. I uh, got thrown in a cell with a bum that had nothing on but plastic bags on his feet. In the middle of the night, I'm lying there, and he comes over and just stares at me. I'm like, don't you make a move at me or else. And he goes, I got fucking plastic bags on my feet. What am I going to do? So I laughed, and then we cuddled. <laughs> I like a good emoji these days where I'm older, you know, I need it for support, you know. Had a good time, Rob. Smiley face. Talk to you later. Winky face. You'll get it up next time, Rob. Eggplant, eggplant, eggplant. But at my age, I'm having random thoughts, like coming out of nowhere, you know? I don't know where that comes from. You know? You think the guys that are raping Bill Cosby right now keep saying to him, Who's getting the chocolate pudding now? It just comes to my head, you know. Do you think uh, bananas argue with vibrators? What are you shaking for? She's gonna eat me. Couple of things though, guys, where I'm older now, some things you shouldn't do at my age, you know? Don't sleep on a futon anymore or a fold-out mattress. You might as well throw yourself down a fucking flight of stairs. Your back is gonna feel the same in the morning, right? You know? And don't go telling people your medical issues when you're having dessert, right? I don't wanna know about that thing on your taint while I'm eating ice cream, I don't. 
Jesus. And for God's sakes, when you're fucking around with your loved one at night, don't put anything in your bum if you don't know if it's going to come back out. You don't want to go to your family doctor and say, I was playing pigs in a blanket with a fucking corkscrew. That's my time, guys. Thanks. Zipper dick out.